Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jaan of Mathroom. Another lesson in business mathematics will be covered in this video, and the topic is all about single trade discount. So the learning objectives for this topic are the following. Understand the flow of supply chain, define single trade discount, illustrate how to compute single trade discounts. The essential question we have for this topic is, how to compute for a single trade discount and what is this for? Let's say you own a retail store that sells branded rubber shoes. Have you ever wondered about the process how the shoes go through before it reaches your store? As a business owner, it is necessary to be knowledgeable on the processes involved from the making of the rubber shoes up to the selling of it. And this idea is called supply chain. So let us discuss the flow in the supply chain. A supply chain comprises stages of the processes involved starting from the making of a product up to the selling to a customer. So the supply chain shows the movement of materials as the flow from their source going to the customer. So in the supply chain, the first is the manufacturer. The manufacturer is the one in charge to convert raw materials into finished products. These products are now being transferred to a distributor that is responsible in dispensing the products to wholesalers whose role is to sell the products in bulk to companies or retail stores and not to individuals. The retailers are held responsible to sell the products to customers for their own use. So here is the diagram that represents the supply chain. In these stages in the supply chain, the idea of giving trade discounts is frequently used and this discount is usually based on the volume of products purchased being provided by the manufacturers, distributors, and wholesalers. Commonly, discounts are either in a form of an amount deducted from the original price of a product or in a form of percentage that is used to reduce the price of a product. With this, let us now discuss trade discount. What do we mean by this? When we say trade discount, it is the least price reduction that a business may offer to its business customers. Typically, it is offered between manufacturer and wholesaler or between wholesaler and retailer. Usually, this trade discount is occurred when a purchaser meets certain conditions to qualify and it is a reduction in cost from the normal retail price on goods. Let us use this real-life scenario. A certain distributor of a branded rubber shoes provides a 15% discount to its wholesaler who purchased 1,500 pieces of rubber shoes in a month. Instead of paying 4,500,000, the wholesaler will just pay 3,825,000 pesos because of the given discount. So in this scenario, the 15% is what we call the trade discount rate. The 4,500,000 is what we call the least price, and the 3,825,000 is the net price. Let us define each term. When we say trade discount rate, it refers to the percentage of the discount. Least price refers to the price of the product without the discounts. And the net price is the actual price a customer pays after deducting any trade discounts. So how to compute for the trade discounts? Take note that we have two methods. The first method is the discount method. It is useful to find the net price and actual amount of trade discount. To do this, first step, we need to find the discount, which is equal to the least price times the trade discount rate. Second step, net price is equal to the least price minus discount. For the complement method, this is only useful to find the net price. First step, find the complement rate, which is 100% minus the trade discount rate. Second step, net price is equal to the least price times the complement rate. Let us now apply the following formulas in our examples. First example, finding the net price. Find the net price of shirt listed at 925 pesos. 
the retailer is granted a 20% trade discount. So to solve this problem using the discount method, first identify the given values. We have here the list price, the 925 pesos, and the trade discount rate which is 20% or 0.20. The first step is to find the trade discount which is given by list price times the trade discount rate. So we have 925 times 0.20 is equal to 185. Next to this is to find the net price using the second method. List price minus the trade discount. We have 925 minus 185 which is equal to 740. Now let us show the second method. Using the complement method, first we need to find the complement discount rate. To do this, we will just simply subtract the 20% from 100% and that gives us 80% or 0.80. After this, we look for the net price by having this price times the complement rate or complement discount rate 925 times 0.80 gives us 740. So we have the same answer, and so the net price of a polo shirt is 740 pesos. So you have an option, you may use the first method, the discount method, or the complement method. Second example, finding the list price. A manufacturer can cover its cost and make a reasonable profit if it sells its product for 350 pesos. At what price should the product be listed so that a discount of 35% can be allowed? According to the problem, we are looking for the list price. So first, identify the given values. As we can see in our problem, we have the 350 which is the net price and the 35% which is the trade discount rate. Next, identify what method you are going to apply. For this problem, only the second method can be used to find the list price. So in order to do that, first, identify the complement rate, and that is 1 minus 0 0.35, which is 0 0.65, the complement discount rate. Second step is to substitute the values to our formula, which is the net price is equal to the product of the list price and the complement rate. And then after this, divide both sides by 0 0.65 since we are looking for the list price. So we have 350 over 0 0.65 and this is equal to 538.46. So meaning to say, the product is listed at 538.46 pesos. Third example, finding the discount rate. A dining table is listed in a wholesaler's catalog at 4,210. The dining table is sold to a retailer for a net price of 3,800. What trade discount rate was given? So first, identify the given values. We have here the list price of the dining table, which is 4,210, and the net price is 3,800. So first, let us identify the given values. We have here the list price, 4,210, and the net price, which is 3,800. And to look for the trade discount rate, we need to apply the first method or the discount method. To do this, let us have step number one. Let us find the trade discount using the formula net price is equal to the list price minus the trade discount. Substitute the two given values, we have this equation, 3,800 equals 4,210 minus the trade discount. Manipulate this equation, make TD positive, so we have TD is equal to 4,210 minus 3,800 and this gives us a value of 410. Let us now have the second step. The second step is given by the formula TD is equal to the list price times the trade discount rate, which is what we are looking for. So the TD is 410 equals LP 4210 times the TDR. To find the TDR, we need to divide both sides by 4210. So the TDR 
is 0.0974 or 9.74%. So we can now conclude that the trade discount rate of a dining table is 9.74% from the list price of 4,210 going to the net price 3,800. After discussing how to solve the trade discount using discount method and complement method, this is now the time to check your understanding. Kindly complete this table by finding the missing terms. You may pause the video so you could answer this problem. Let's check our work. First, the trade discount is 3,072, net price 22,528. Next, we have the trade discount rate, which is 9.31%. And last, we have 6,575 as the net price. Let us have a word problem. A 17.5% discount on a headphone amounts to 560. What is the list price? Again, you may pause the video so you can answer this item. Let us answer now. The answer here, the list price is 678.79. Were you able to answer these problems? If yes, great job. Here are the key takeaways for this topic. When we say trade discount, it refers to the least price reductions that a business may offer to its business customers. And there are two methods that we can use. We have the discount method, which is useful to find the net price and the actual amount of trade discount. And we have the complement method, which is useful to find the net price. So here is the end of this video. I hope you have learned a lot. I hope you will continue to subscribe on my YouTube channel watching all of my videos, put some comments, and share it to your friends. Bye everyone! See you on my next video!